Hello everybody, it is I, Sakamoto, and I am back with more Momodara Reverie Under the Moonlight here with you guys. Yeah. Um so uh check this out. I'm not gonna be playing this file anymore. In fact, we're even gonna delete it. Cause check this out. This is my original file playing this game. As you can see, I played 13 hours, 17 minutes, and 20 seconds. And the cool thing about this game is, when you play it and beat it, you get to keep all the items that you got from your previous play if you play it again. And very conveniently, we are here on this. I'm here from the last time I tried to play this again, or was gonna play this again, or whatever. I, I, this is where I stopped, so. See, I haven't even talked to this lady yet. You came from that imp-infested imp forest. Hi, ha, ha, interesting. How can I help you? But I already have all these items, so I don't need to buy them. Uh, yeah, I have, I have everything. <laughs> um, and that's cool, obviously, because um, now we can just fight the bosses without worrying about whether or not they're going to hit us. That's the main thing I want to not have to deal with. And now we can just kind of make things a little bit more, even more chill than they were when I was going to play, going to be when I was going to play it in easy mode. Because, uh, uh, yeah. Alrighty then. So what I had equipped was quick arrows, which drastically increases the speed of your arrows to the point where you can't even see them coming out of the bow. <laughs> uh, but I don't want to use that right now. I'm going to use the uh, pocket incensory, which adds flame damage to your attacks. Uh, enchanted container filled with charcoal and incense. And I add the heavy arrows, increases the power of your arrows. But we're going to use the uh, drilling arrows instead, which allows them to pierce through your enemies. And I think other stuff too, like their attacks and whatnot, if the arrows normally stop on them. Special type of arrow used by the Archer of Karst. And. Yeah. Hang on. Um, let me show you what this does. Yeah, that's kind of stupidly overpowered, but that's what you get when you defeat the boss we're gonna fight without getting hit. Which is pretty nice. But yay, past me already did all that, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry if that disappoints anyone that I'm doing it this way, uh, but I just, like I said before, I just want to play the game and not worry about dying and get, well, getting hit by bosses. And I don't have to worry about not getting hit by bosses so I can unlock these items that I already have anyway, basically. <laughs> I guess that's what I'm saying. So we can, now we can just enjoy the game and not worry about any of it. How many times can I repeat myself in different ways? Let me count the ways. <laughs> oh yeah, and as you can see, my leaf is green because later in the game you unlock uh, a strong leaf or something for your leaf or something. Like a level 2 sword in Zelda. Or the Master Sword in Zelda or whatever. Obviously we got, uh, there's a wolf down here you want to kill him because uh, I think there's like an ivory bug or something that you can get. Maybe, I don't remember exactly. Um, hang on a second. Come on. as much. Okay, you know what? I'm out of there. Damn. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the most useful uh, boss items you can get. This is called the Blessing Charm. And this is what it does. <laughs> Basically, I, I mean, it kind of explains itself. Oh, I knew there was a monster there. I'm just like, uh, 
Can't go this way yet. So he's like, make this stop. And she's crying. Obviously, uh, probably because of monsters everywhere and crap. Okay. go through that attack. That's quite convenient. So, yeah, down here is the boss. We're gonna go there in a second, but we gotta go unlock that place we're gonna go unlock real quick. Uh, which is this. The store. And we're gonna go save. That yeah, we did that. Alright. Let's do it. Huh? Looks like some outsider missionary. <laughs> Your rotten corpse will serve my mistress well. I would use this, this is the Tainted Missive, but uh, it temporarily increases attack by 100% at the cost of HP, but we don't need to use that, we got other stuff we can use instead. How about the Violet Sprite? Which is like the Blessing Charm, but different, it's got purple stuff floating around you. Oh yes. Uh -huh. So yeah, I got to this point a little bit earlier and I was just like man this sucks and then I checked out my first file I was like oh my goodness I already have all the items and I'm at the same spot I was at so let's just do it this way Okay, maybe I already used that. Or maybe you can't get the fairy right now? I can't remember. Whatever. Existence elsewhere. You little pest. I can't waste any more time with you. Bye. If I'm not mistaken, I think you may have to fight her a second time later, but I can't remember. Let's keep going. Hello again. But not really again, because you're just a different version of the same monster we saw earlier, and I'm dead. If you use this and try to attack this... Oh, never mind. Well, yeah. It's, uh, the, the thingies around you there will we'll just hit that. Let's see if I can, uh... Get anything that'll help us with fighting these monsters over here. Try this, I guess. Okay. That was cool. Yeah, I haven't played this in a long time, like I said, so a lot of the animations and what these things do, I don't really remember. Completely. Hello. What are you looking at? I'm human like you. Oh, this one. You don't seem very capable of protecting yourself. Take my word and look for shelter. Okay. My name is Kath. 
I'm a knight. I'm a knightess in service of the kingdom. So, you're a priestess from Loon, and you're seeking the queen's aid? Ha ha ha! You think she has inter any interest in your little village? Well, here's some bad news. I've heard rumors of an undead witch lurking around. Progressing deeper into the city is very risky. If you're adamant about meeting with the queen, my advice only goes so far. Are you talking about Lubella, who I just defeated? Probably. Okay. Nothing, nothing. Oh no. Hmm. What's up here? The clarity shard makes everything brighter when you're in a dark area. Very convenient, obviously. Sealed wind, cast wind sorcery. specific item to be able to go down there and back that we don't actually have right now even though we're playing with mostly I guess mostly items we have unlocked but there's a couple you need to get I think uh, I need to go check back and check that other area the royal court has been ignoring the royal court has been ignoring us citizens ever since this kingdom fell the curse if you want to stay safe don't leave outside Okay, we'll come back this way. Oh boy. Damn it. I hate that you can get hit while you're using these items. something? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, this is the second area, or the third area actually, not the area we were going to go to. Finally out of the cell. It should be safe here. This place seems completely abandoned. Now, which way was the forest again? Huh? What's with those clothes? Who are you? Identify yourself now. She's telling her who she is. Priestess? Okay then. Here's a friendly warning. You won't find safety in this region anymore. According to hearsay, the queen summoned a storm of disease from her castle, one that's spreading throughout the world. Look, you don't seem like a bad person. Please run away from here and save yourself while you still can. Okay. Subterranean grave. We can't get whatever was in there. <laughs> it's Ascorn. Hey, Kaho, help me somehow. Please, you must find a way to get me from the cell. Some sort of spell is spreading from this kingdom to the lands of the west. All oh, my people, please don't not leave me alone here. Okay. Wasn't here and feared all my hope was lost. <coughs> now I can resume my search for my wife. They both died long ago, yet it seems the dead have crossed the border towards this world. There's much left untold. I plan to reunite with her and escape this forsaken city. I can see you are still in one piece. That kind of attire you use. That's not something from this land, am I correct? No matter. At this state of decay, none of us should be idling carelessly. I'll be around. Take care. Oh no, I can rescue this guy. Some sort of spell is spraying this game to learn the most of my people. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was only able to rescue one of you guys. Apparently. Oh right, we have the clarity shard. Or not. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, crap. So don't get hit by those things that we're playing. They look like bats because they will, uh, curse you. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get uh, certain treasure chests, I guess. <laughs> but they probably have money or something. Which obviously I don't need. Uh, but whatever. Wait, what was over to the right? Okay, well let's go this way. die, I better find a save point. Because if you die, obviously you have to go all the way back to the last bell you hit. And we're, uh, that would be very inconvenient right now. We're gonna go this way. Oh look, my blessing charm helped out. Uh, last one. For now. I think I kind of- yay, we found it. Okay. 
Um, I think I'm gonna end this episode here just because suspense and yada yada yada, etc. Thanks for watching this episode of Momodora with me, Sakamoto. Um, see you guys again in the next one. Love you guys. Have a great.